kind of like I'm just sort of wandering around, <laughs> wasting time as usual. Um, is your man Wedge? Well, very yeah, he's too too far forward, I'd say like. But um, Nighthound's he's been a bit denied earlier on. He's not he's not exactly that powerful. Like, it's just unfortunate we can't finish him off because he bloody goes invisible. Like, there's an invisible lever in there in the uh, water that none of us grab. Like. I'm taking a big good chance here actually, creeping in, this is like considered their territory like, so uh, creeping here is pretty dodgy because like, um, you know, it's so close to their base that like, you know, they could easily like, if, you know, you, you don't know where they are because like obviously this is a replay so it shows you everything but from my perspective I, I don't really know where the enemy are, so like they could they could be anywhere like, so going into their territory is pretty dangerous unless, if, unless you have uh, someone backing you up. So they they keep pushing down our right side. I'm not really sure why. Like they, they could actually probably take out this tower over here, but they're not. So they keep pushing down here. Like so, whatever. Big battle probably ensue here. Um, my brother's here. He hasn't got full hit points. Like he's kind of weak. And uh, but the rest of us coming down here. Um, looks like Deadwood is pissing off somewhere. And um, we got the night hound here stalking us. Like so, they have good information on what we're up to. And my body like pops his ultra for some reason. <laughs> it doesn't do anything with it. Um, looks like we're gonna. No, we still can't see the night hound like, but he's keep he's keeping tabs on us like I throw a spear here, trying and I hit the electrician. Nice one. So then I just jump at him and hit him with my ultra, and then he steals the kill because he's a nice guy like that. <laughs> there comes Deadwood, and uh, I think he might be a bit too late to the party like. Although I I've popped my ultra because I was taking a bit of an ass kicking, so take it out of the way and uh, down. <laughs> Uh, my friend killed the night hound there, and um, and uh, Wilson got the other guy. And at this point in time, their team's trying to concede, like, but uh, I don't think the foot passes. I said this is basically a pub game. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but it's like it's a PSR game, I believe, but it's a, pretty much a pub game, pub public game. So like the teams aren't like they're not pre-arranged teams, so like people aren't going to agree. So uh, they want to concede, but it's not actually going to happen at the moment. And we're just doing damage here. And uh, corrupt disciple, our uh, Cronus pops in, I believe, and he pops his ultra, which disrupts us a lot. Like I said, they're taking free shots at us here. But um, I think he's gonna go down. Yep. Oh shit! <laughs> it's just madness here. It's really hard to know what's going on. And uh, we basically just killed three of them. And Nighthound's trying to finish off. I think that's me, is it? Ah, it is. He's trying to fit. And he does. He killed me. He killed me, man. I was pretty stupid. I mean, like, I probably should have got out of there a bit earlier, but an extra. And Nighthound just killed uh, my, my friend as well, so we, we probably should have backed off a lot earlier because we took a lot of casualties. Yeah, my, f my brother tried to like push uh, Gust the uh, Nighthound back, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to work. A nice uh, nice attack from uh, Corrupt Disciple did a lot of damage. <laughs> I don't think uh, my brother knew that the Nighthound was so close to him there. So he pushes him away, like, good idea, just get the hell out of there. Like. Corrupt Disciple's flirting here with danger because he's very low hit points. Like. But um, he seems to play very dangerously because he actually, it, like being that low on hit points, doesn't stop him from actually uh, pushing forward. And uh, Wildsoul just lost his brother, which was a bit silly. Like, I suppose if he's back at base, he can just summon him back again anyway, so it's not a big deal. I'm um, gonna lose his tower here. Creeps the creeps have actually killed the tower, like so that was pretty stupid. And you can see the car you're bringing, um, that's how it works, like it, it carries items towards you, like, so it saves you the effort of having to go get them yourself. And I finally come back to life here and I'm eager to get back into the combat. There's not really much happening here, like, um, the enemy's been pretty defensive. God, it's hard talking so long, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've been talking endlessly for like, this whole video. <coughs> but, um, the, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, well, um, if in situations where th there's double damage, or which as is this the name suggests, well, actually it's called top of the damage, but it doubles your damage anyway. So, yeah, once if your team is at a disadvantage, th yeah, you usually go very defensive. Sometimes, um, I've had games where they're 16 minutes long because of the fact where we're, we were losing, but then we went super defensive, like never, never left our half of them up, and it always attacked as a team. And uh, came back from s almost certain defeat, like so. Uh, it's a good tactic, like to defend. And I think, I think their team's actually doing it at the moment. Uh, are not. <laughs> They're killing Krongor, who's um, who's a super 
a super neutral creep. And we, we think we are aware of him at this point in time. Because uh, my friend sees him here. But um, you kill him and you get some extra experience and gold and he drops an item. And my friend's trying to kill this guy. And I'm here trying to help him like. So uh, he's getting an ass kicking like. So, but I pop my ulcer which makes us invisible. So just before he dies. Just as he dies like. He's invisible and he can't be seen. And uh, we, so we got two kills and got the fuck out of there. So it was pretty good. Like, <laughs> we got two kills and he got out just with sniffer fell points. Which was, was pretty nice. But um, yeah, when when Krungor dies, he drops an item. He drops an item which uh, down. Someone just got altered. Why the soldiers got killed? Um, but we're gonna kill uh, yeah. Tempest got pwned there and uh, Nighthound. Nighthound, oh, that was nice. Uh, a blind uh, Gus from James, actually, or my brother, actually killed Nighthound there, even though he was invisible. And um, there's a uh, thing dead as well, Deadwood. He just couldn't escape. But uh, unfortunately, he was actually, um, as I said, when you kill Krunger, the giant ape man, he drops an item which resurrects you if you die. So it's pretty important to have, like, because, um, you know, it lets you, it lets you come back to life with full hit points and mana, so it's quite a powerful item to have. Although it takes up a slot in your, in your inventory, as you can see down the bottom here, down the bottom right. Um, yep, so Krunker, he comes back every 10 minutes, I believe it is. Um, I've gone to get double damage here. Yoink! Which is quite significant. Although, it, it doesn't look like I won't have an opportunity to release it. And since uh, two of their team are dead, maybe I uh, two of their team are dead, so um, we're going to push on from here. Kronos teleports into the middle of us here. Probably He's probably going to pop his ultra. Corrupt Disciples taking a bit of a kick in there, but um, I think I'm wandering around here. I got double damage here, so... um. As you see, I'm a bit of a lemur. I always, I always creep like when it should be helping people. I tried to throw a spear there, but unfortunately he teleported the way. Like was kind of on me, like. But um, lucky enough with double damage, it was uh, just enough just to auto attack him to death. He had pretty, as you can see, double damage hits pretty hard. Like um, looks like uh, Nighthound tried to gank uh, corrupt the disabled, but um, he hasn't hasn't quite got the killing power to pull it off. And uh, my body got the killer with his full sword throw. But unfortunately, he just got pwned by uh, the thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, Deadwood's Ultra. And um, then he died himself, of course. As you can see, Corrupt Disciple has no hit points, but he, he, he never runs away. He like, always hangs around with no hit points. This ability here with the glowing villains, um, the team, the enemy team, every once once every 300 seconds, they can make their villains immune for a few seconds, like just to sort of... Uh, just to buy them from time. I'm not really sure what the point of that feature is. It's just like a wee, it's just like a wee feature. I'm not sure what what the actual real reason for that is. Like, um, it just makes your buildings immune for a few seconds, like just so you don't lose it. And there's Kronos teleports in and boss and uses his ultra. And he'll probably get corrupted disciple here, so you will. Yep, just last hit of him. Um, massive combat going on. We're really pushing the back here though. They're massive disadvantage. Like, um, I'm jumping in here, being very aggressive. I'm not sure why. Like. Because I'm getting owned by the towers. Um, Tempest has spawned loads of creeps. Like as you can see, there's quite an army of them. Like. So as I said, once you're in their base, they have easy access to you know the health back at the base here. It heals them, so it does. And my courier got killed, which was my one. I think my brother was using it, and he left it to die. Was kind of sucked. As you can see it there. No, I don't think I had any items on, so I don't think I lost very much. But still. I got some illusions running around, so um, maybe try and trick them, get them to waste a few cooldowns on their on my illusions. I'm just like trying to get some money here while the fight's happening here, and uh, Corrupt Disciple is running his arch enemy, the Tempest, and it looks like uh, Corrupt Disciple has become the master of this fight. He just got pwned, although he can't really master uh, beat all illusions. You see how durable the Corrupt Disciple is at the moment because we're so much more powerful than the enemy. And uh, he's popped his ulcer, which like makes him do auto attacks. So while he's running away, he's kicking the ass. <laughs> oh shit! You got him. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll make it out of here. No, no. <laughs> he did a pretty good job, and I'm um, I'm pretty sure at this point he was probably I think he was pretty unhappy with uh, with my brother here and um, my friend because they sort of could have helped, maybe could have helped him, but they were too busy creeping. Like, which I have to admit is one of the biggest problems in my play. I would say because. I like to get money and stuff, and um, then I sometimes I will be jungling, like killing neutral creeps instead of actually helping the team. And um, I'm not sure what's taking me so long at the base here. Usually I'm pretty quick with these sort of things. Like, must be just sorting out some gear or something. <coughs> so 
so we destroyed some of the towers by the way um these buildings if you destroy some of their buildings